Hi everyone, welcome back to Le Gourmet TV. Today we're going to be doing a, a version of a hot Sicilian pork sausage. Uh, this, this is a real favorite of mine, really dead simple to do. So earlier I took some pork shoulder and cut it into cubes like this, about this size so they easily fit through the hopper. I've got the grinder all set up with a coarse disc and I've had this meat in the fridge. You want it to be very cold. If you can put it in the freezer and just bring it to the point before it freezes, that's best. Makes it really easy to grind at that point. So, we'll turn our grinder on. Another key to good sausage is getting the meat to fat ratio right. So if you're looking for this recipe and you're on one of our syndication sites, come on back to www.legourmet.tv there's a 4x6 downloadable recipe card there. Has all the ingredients and instructions on it. Now this is a really common recipe and it's one that I've learned from my wife's family. They all get together and they make this in a big group and it is excellent. Really is one of my favorites. So all the rest of the ingredients go into the meat mixture. and we just mix this together and again your hands are the best tool for this job. Right off the bat the smell is incredible and I think that's the fennel. I really love the fennel. Now if this is your first time making this recipe once you get this mixed together just make yourself a little patty and then fry it up in a pan and taste the seasoning. If it's too hot or not hot enough this is the point where you can make that change. So I'm going to put this back in the fridge while we set up the stuffer. So we're all set up and ready to stuff and per usual it's best to have a helper for this because it is uh, it's a little unwieldy. So we'll turn on the grinder. We had it turned off for safety, or unplugged for safety. So turn on the grinder and just start to feed the meat through the tube. There you go, good, thanks. So now you pull the casing down and tie a knot in the end. And one of the things you really want to make sure that you don't get an air pocket at the end of the casing. All right. So. So once you've got these sausages stuffed in the casing, you can leave them in a family sized coil, which is what we usually do, or cut them off into links. Then very carefully prick the skin to make sure that you get all of the air bubbles out. Now leave these in the fridge overnight just to give all of those flavors a time to meld together before you grill them off. And any that you're not going to cook and eat immediately, a great idea is to vacuum seal them and freeze them. They'll keep in the freezer for up to three to four months. Hope you enjoy these. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.